This is truly powerful. When you pray and you're not double-minded and you're not doubting, you have to really see it. You have to really see yourself receiving it. You might say, oh, Nick, I don't know if that's how it works. Um, Well, here it is in Jesus' own words. Mark chapter 11, verse 23 through 24 says, I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. But you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. So he's showing us the important part of it is believe you have received. Received. Guys, we can't miss this. Now, some might say you're missing it. You're missing what comes after. Okay, let's go on to the 25th verse right after. But when you are praying first, forgive anyone you are holding a grudge against so that your father in heaven will forgive your sins too. So what's this about? He's also instilling us with himself, with his essence, with his character to show mercy, to show love, to show compassion. And also, very importantly, to also know we shouldn't be, you know, too puffed up either. And to understand we still need forgiveness every day. But this is incredible when we learn this way of praying from him to see it, to see ourselves having it. Past tense is even how he said it. Believe you have received already received and you shall. This shows that we also trust in God's power and ability to do it. And I know someone might mention in accordance with his will, Nick, his will is love and for us to believe in Jesus. It's simple. And you can take that to the bank. If it's something that's good and doesn't do harm to others, we should be confident to ask and know it's in his will. Amen.